Jamie? <coughs> Serge? <coughs> Hand Kit? I have so many questions. Ain't it obvious? I'm chilling with your bestie. She was telling me this crazy story about a forest fire. You do know who this is, right? I do, and I know it sounds crazy. But she came in peace. She made a point of finding me to announce she and Kit wanted to turn their lives around. So I'm willing to chalk this up to a rocky start and let us have a do-over, if you will. Just like that. Just like that. After all you said I could, you made it sound so simple. Freedom is right there, just waiting for you. Just take it. I can't. Our last fight was a bit of a close call. It got me to reprioritize. So here we are, ready to start over. Right, Drippy? Yes. Yeah, just like that. This is all there's left to eat around here? Really? I I'm sorry. It's all I could find. The base has no power, so anything perishable is rotting, and there's not much to forage beyond the walls. I ain't living off berries and roots. We need to get out of here. Yes, but where? Dr. Eggman is aware of us, so his bases will be on high alert. We don't belong anywhere in polite society. This place is falling apart around us. I know all that! You're supposed to be the smart one. Figure it out! I I'm trying. Has Eggman come to look for us? I'm gonna tear off his mustache and feed it to him! Tear him down! Right. Time to toast the small fry! Messing with our tech? Then get ready to scuffle! These bots are protected by... What do you say, boys? Should I make your tails match? No! Mercy! No mercy for Eggman goons. We don't work for Eggman no more, idiot! Yeah? Then what's with all the egg tech? It and the fools you've trounced belong to me. Hold the mucks. Yes, ma'am. My apologies for the intrusion. I had assumed the late Dr. Starline's base was no longer occupied. You knew that sack of trash? I did indeed. I deal in all manner of scrap and robotic refuse. Dr. Starline was a frequent client of mine for... all sorts of resources. Wait a minute, you mean... I know who you are, Miss Surge. I know what you are. I know a great many things, such as you don't mind getting your hands dirty, and that you have no love for Sonic the Hedgehog or his friends. Perhaps we can do business. Uh, maybe? Who are you? How rude of me. I'm Clutch the Opossum, and publicly, I run Clean Sweep Incorporated. My company clears out areas once invaded by Dr. Eggman and sells the material back to him, or whomever needs questionable technology. People think it's a kindly public service. I see no need to correct them. Ah, all right, where do I come in? <laughs> Sonic's friends do the same work as my company, but legitimately, that's bad for business. I'm in the process of staging a hostile takeover, if you will. Help me further my plans to steal the restoration, and in return I'll tell you everything I know about you and your young companion. You got a deal, old man. But how will we even get near their headquarters? We're their enemies. Oh, I know just how to get in the front door. Yeah? Just like that? Yeah, just like that. Cool. Glad you came around. <laughs> Let me and Amy give you a grand tour of the place. To keep an eye on them? Oh, you betcha. So you've already seen the mall. Lots of dining, shopping, options for the staff, and anyone passing through. <laughs> Which is all supplied by this depot. You guys need all this? Nope. This is where they organize supplies for anyone in the world. Oh, hey, Blaze. Hey, Silver. What are you up to? While touring the world, I learned Masary was suffering from poor crops this season. Jewel helped put together an aid shipment, and we're going to bring it over there. Who is your new friend? <laughs> this is Surge. She tried to destroy me a couple of times. <gasps> Honestly, Sonic, you need to stop making friends like that. Wait, he seriously makes a habit of this? When we first met, I was hostile. 
We fought rather ferociously back then. Ha! I remember that! Me and Silver have had our moments of friction, too. <laughs> At least you're always super nice about it afterwards. Ugh. I've got stories about him throwing down with Knuckles and Shadow for days. <laughs> have any of your friends not tried to waste you? Look, once you get to know me, I'm very likable. So, since I fought him, does that mean I'm an honorary restoration mook like you two? We are not affiliated with the movement. We just like to help out. The restoration is a volunteer movement. Everyone is free to come and go as they please. If this place doesn't suit you, you're welcome to leave any time. Trying to get rid of me already? I'm making it clear it's your choice. No one will force you to do anything you don't want here. You really mean that. Let's continue the tour. Safe travels, you two. Hey, Sonic, think fast. Ha, you couldn't hit the broad side of this, Hedgehog. Here in the machine shop, they maintain the vehicles that deliver everything in the supply depot, along with the search and rescue craft. Uh-huh. I've had my fill of gadgets lately. Besides, Sek is more Kit's thing. You hear that, Drippy? He can hang out here and show Tails how it's done. <laughs> ah, another young aspiring gearhead. You're always welcome here, kiddo. Uh, uh, see you around. Sup, Bell? Hello, Sonic. Hello, Amy. Hello. Oh, Sawdust! What's she doing here? We're going to get a lot of that here. Good. Serge and Kit are here to start over. Are you sure? Dr. Starline made them. Yeah, and Eggman made Gamerol, Omega. And me, yeah. I guess you've set a precedent. Hey, I thought I smashed that gizmo. You did! I rebuilt it and I've been fine-tuning it ever since. I was just about to deliver it to Whisper, in fact. Perfect timing. We can go with you and make introductions. Hold on. Maybe we should ease into that one, you know? Given the circumstances? Nah, why question Sonic's judgment? I'm sure it'll go fine. <sighs> huh. Go on, Mr. Big Shot. Say something. You're not helping. Look, I know there's some bad blood here, and for good reason. But if we can give them a chance, they'd be awesome in the Diamond Cutters. Yes, but only if they want to join. Why wouldn't they want to kick butt? Yo, they are in the room. They have thoughts and opinions of their own. Sorry. Sorry! I think it's a great idea. The team gave me a chance and I'm a nobody. Having someone on par with Sonic and Tails would be a huge help. I have my concerns, but if they're coming on the recommendation of former Commander Rose, I won't object. Lana Lynn, we've been through this. <sighs> I believe in Sonic and his ideals. I'm willing to give them a chance. No. Come on, Whisper. No, you can choose to trust her. I don't. I won't. <laughs> Finally! You're the first to show any sense around here. I can tell you want to take me out here and now. <laughs> I like you. <sighs> Maybe I will join your little club. You can aim that whisplinger at the back of my head all day if you want. <laughs> I don't blame you. I encourage you. Fine. I will be watching. If Surge joins, I'm joining too. Yeah, yeah, we're a package deal. I gotta admit, this is a pretty impressive setup. It'd be a real shame if someone burned it to the ground. Yeah, a bigger shame is what'll happen to the idiot who tries that. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's not like you guys are here all the time. No, but the diamond cutters are here, and security has been tightened since the Deadly Six invaded. They'll be okay. Sorry to interrupt. No worries. You're a duo, right? Got in in one. <laughs> I just got set up here myself, so Lanolin sent me to help Surge and Kit settle into a place of their own. Eh, nah, why not? Tour's over anyway. See you around. You sure about this? Nah. But meeting Mecha Sonic and the others reminded me that everyone deserves a second chance. Third, even. Starline stole their lives from them. They should have a chance to make a better one for themselves. What brings you back into town, anyway? I just wanted to hang out with Jewel, but she's been super busy. Apparently, she's making a deal with something called Clean Sweep Inc. That might ease that burden, though. Cool. Since you're free, want to grab dinner? Sure. Here's your room. Nah, it'll do. No leaks or drafts, at least. 
I took the liberty of getting you a shared room since you two are codependent. Whoa, Kitty's got claws after all. I've got far more than claws. Mimic, the octopus infiltrator. Clutch told me to make contact with you once you were inside. <laughs> oh man, they have no idea, do they? None. Bravo on the bold play with Whisper earlier. You need to tone down the glare though, boy. You're happy here, remember? So, what's the plan now? Keep up the act for now. Play nice with the others, but not too nice. They're keeping an eye on you. They aren't looking too hard at me. Once Clutch is ready, he'll send us the order. He'll hit our targets while their guard's down. He'll come in, take advantage of the chaos, and we're out. What about Tails? Is he a target? Priority target, along with anyone in your way. <laughs> I like it here now. See? I knew this was a good idea! Looking forward to working with ya, duo.